Hello everyone. This hour on Verbling. This is going to be the first in my great short story series. We're going to do a short story with uh, from Ernest Hemingway called A Clean, Well-Lighted Place. And I've chosen these stories to help you understand a little bit more about the culture of the language that you're learning. So if you want to know a little bit more about the culture of your second language and its literature in great short stories, you will do just that. Read classic English, English meaning English, British, or English American short stories in different genres from yesterday and today, and participate in a class discussion about their artistic, historical, and social contexts. So that's a bit about the class. My name's John Eric. I'm an American teacher from New York, and I'm hanging out today from Lisbon, Portugal, to bring you this class. Here are three quick rules to help you participate. Turn off, tune in, and open up. That means when you're in class, turn off your microphone uh, when you're not speaking to try to keep the background noise to a minimum. Oop, let me get the slide there. There we go. Uh, rule two is tune in. We're going to learn lots of new vocabulary. Try to use as much of it as you can when discussing the story. And rule three is open up to your classmates. Relax and have fun. We're all here to learn, and it's a safe, respectful place to practice your English. And finally, if you download the John Eric Verbling Info PDF, which I posted in the class material, you can get in touch with me at any of those links on the third page. Follow me on Verbling on the right, read a tweet, interact with me or chat with me on Facebook and Google+, watch or rewatch one of my old videos or my classes on my YouTube channel, or even schedule a private class with me. So, that's a bit about me, and, oh, where's my camera? There we go. That's me. <laughs> Let's say hello to Path. Nice to see you in the morning. How are you? How are you, teacher? Good morning. I'm more or less okay. Got off to a bit of a late start. I apologize for that. Mr. Anario, nice to see you. I am. Um... Oh, and Mr. Alberto is back. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Mr. Alberto. And also, uh, Paloma. Paloma, I don't think I know you. I think you're new. How are you, Paloma? Well, while we're waiting for... Oh, there she goes. Now I hear her. Hi, how are you? Fine, and you? Very good. Paloma, I think you have the uh, verbling window open in the background, so could you close that, please? Because I'm getting a big, big echo. I'm hearing my voice. Okay? Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. So listen, let me post the link if you don't have it. There you go. Okay. It's better uh, now? Yeah, John? yeah, it's gone. Good. Where are you from, Paloma? I'm from Spain. And is this your first time? I don't think I've seen you before. I can't remember. No, we we do as the the first time. They say the and first time. And in Berlin, is the best. yeah. <laughs> and in Berlin is the third, I I think. All right. Third class. Well, today is going to be a little bit of an experiment, um, because I I chose uh, well. I'm going to try to do some literature. I don't know how, how well it's going to go, but we're going to give it a try. Um, but I did choose something. Ooh. Big, big echo. Mm, who's this? Ah, Mr. Yevgeny. Yev 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 Hello, Yevgeny. Yevgeny, do you hear me? You need Yes, you need to close the verbling window, okay? So the Google Hangout is fine. Close all the other windows in the back, okay? Because we're hearing an echo. Okay. 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 While he's doing that, when you click on the link, you're going to see this classic reading one: having ways a clean, well-lighted place. Has anyone seen this uh, painting before? It's a very famous painting. Yes, me. But I don't know who the author. Yeah, Gemi, I have to mute you for a minute because 
Okay, I have to mute you because we're getting an echo. So make sure you close. I'm trying to mute you. I can't. There we go. So make sure you close all the windows except the Google Hangout, Evgeny. And if I'm muting you for a reason. The reason is because we can't hear anything because when you're not muted, we're getting an echo. Okay? So Evgeny, you're welcome to stay in class. Just close all the windows except this one. And when you do that, it will be fine. Then we'll, we'll get rid of the echo. And make sure you're wearing your headphones too. Okay? So, um, when you open that window, you see this painting. Um, I'm sorry, Alberto, what were you saying? No, I have seen uh, later, but uh, I can't remember uh, who, who the author is. Uh, well, why don't you, let's start, because th this painting is associated with this, with this, um, with this short story for a reason. Um, it's, a, it's around the same time. Mm -hmm. And I think the way the painting makes most people feel is very um, is very much related to the way the story makes people feel. Well, what feeling, what emotion do you get uh, when you look at this painting? Or, or I could also say, what do you think's going on in the painting? What do you think, Alberto? I think it's a normal day in the life of this. People on the yeah, it's very uh, every retinary. day. It's, yeah. yeah. Okay. What time period do you think it is? By the way, let, let's let's open this up to the whole class. Um, I can't share my screen and see you, so I'm going to assume you you have the document open. Okay. And uh, so Daniel Trieste. Hello, Daniel Trieste. Hello. Oh my goodness. Hello. Why don't you? We're, we're looking at the document that I posted in the chat window, so open that up in a new window, okay? Yeah, but I am uh, with mobile phone, so please, if I can also listening. Thank you. Okay, yeah, you can listen, but we're going to be reading. So if you want to read, you'll have to open that link, okay? Okay. I, okay. So right now, I'll try to share my screen, but I won't be able to see you, so I'm going to have to just ask people to speak at will. I'm going to try to share my screen so you can see the picture. So, um, Alberto was saying that it's kind of everyday, an everyday scene. That's true. Um, what time period do you think this is from, Pat? When you look at that picture, what year do you think it is? Uh, I think it's, uh, it is at night, maybe. Yeah, uh, what time of day? Night, for sure. But what, what year? Do you think it is? What year? Oh, yeah. I think uh, the year if is last uh, a lot of years in a, a lot of years. A lot of years ago. Yes, I think okay. yes, but I don't know. Because uh, mm, uh, the clothes of the ah. people. Right, the uh, way the the way they're dressed, the way they're dressed, the way they're dressed. Right, yes. the way they're dressed. Yeah, for example, wh what are the men wearing <laughs> that they don't wear today? Uh, today, the the people uh, wearing uh, more sport, perhaps. Yeah, people. People are, are dressed more casually today, for example. Uh, okay, right? more, Mas, more, more casually. Casual. The right. hats are... Exactly. They're wearing, they're wearing these fedora hats, right? Uh, so, Paloma, what year or what decade did people wear fedora hats? <laughs> what, if you think about movies, you know, what, 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 what year would a movie be where you see everyone... What movie star would you expect to see in a fedora hat, Paloma? Mm, I don't know, maybe 16, 60 or... I don't know, this decade, no? More or I less. I don't know. But, for, uh, for, I always think of like Humphrey Bogart, you know? You always expect yeah, to see... Yeah, yeah. So maybe even earlier, right? I mean, I think of like... I'm just trying to think... Uh, 
what movie, like, I don't know, pictures of Casablanca, you know, I think. He's yeah, 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 I like very much this movie. Uh, in black and white, no? Uh, cinema. Exactly. So, this is definitely from the time of black and white movies. And one more thing, one little detail. Um, no, two details. Uh, everyone, look at the look at the, the the words on the top of the cafe. It says Phillies. Mm -hmm. Does anyone know uh, what that is? What that's an advertisement for? Phillies. Phillies. What is Phillies, John? That's what I'm asking the class. <laughs> Does anyone yeah. know? Does anyone know what that is an advertisement for? Phillies. Ah, okay. Yeah, anyone? yeah, yeah. Anyone? 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 I'll take that as a no. Okay, <laughs> then I'll tell you. Well, if you look on the right, it says only five cents, and there's a picture of a cigar. That's a that's a that's a cigar on the right side. So, we know this is a long time ago because there are. First of all, people do not smoke cigars anymore, right? Just old men. So this is definitely something old, and. Cigars were five cents back then. Five cents. How much do you think a cigar costs today? Yeah, more. <laughs> sure. Exactly. Okay, and one more detail. Um, does uh, if you have to if you have to say how this picture makes you feel in one word, what would be the word that comes to mind more than anything else? If you had to choose one word to describe the feeling in this picture, what would it be? Alberto, what, what word comes to mind for you? Or what, said, what, uh, what emotion in particular? I say it's a sad routine because it's every day, every day the same. Sad routine. That's two words. <laughs> yeah, then routine only. How do, the people, how do the people feel in the picture? So we got routine and sad. Okay, two good descriptions. Anario? What 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 emotion do you think this picture makes most people feel? Was, uh, <clears throat> emotion uh, um, all, uh, people alone. Alone, uh, like right? So, uh, so <clears throat> men alone. Loneliness. Loneliness. Yes. Soli yes. soledad. Sadness. <laughs> Let me say loneliness in Spanish. <laughs> Soledad. Yes, loneliness. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And uh, sadness. Sadness, loneliness. Okay. I think most people do feel that way. Hello, Carmen. I think most people do feel that way. Good morning, everybody. Sorry, I'm late, John. Don't ever let it happen again, Carmen. You're going to be <laughs> never again, or you're going to have to stay after school. <laughs> And write, I will not be late 100 times on the board. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, do you have the link open, Carmen? Can you see the picture? I'm just going to open it. Just one sec. Please do. And in fact, I'll share my screen one more time, and then we're going to read. But I want you to look at the picture one last time here. Okay, got it. Okay. So, Anario was saying, probably most people would feel loneliness looking at this picture. And I agree. That's what everyone says. Carmen, look at that picture for a minute and tell me, is there something that makes, I mean, what's the universal thing that makes everyone feel lonely looking at this picture? What are some qualities of the picture that you think express loneliness? Is that me? I don't know who it is. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> what do you the, think? The first thing that just, um, uh, there are not much people there, so I think it must be late at night. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's empty. empty. And one man is drinking alone. So I think uh, uh, it all that's gives pretty sad. the atmosphere <laughs> of loneliness there. Whenever you're drinking alone, that's pretty sad. And he's right in the center of the picture. So our eye goes directly to that guy. That's you're right. right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and another detail that I thought of is that there's nothing in the windows. The thing that's fascinating about this picture, okay, you got the lonely figure in the middle, but this is obviously the city, and cities are full of people, but uh -huh. there's, there's nobody on the street, and there's nothing in the windows. The windows, the shops are empty, and it's just black in the windows. Mm -hmm. So I think all those things contribute to the feeling. Okay. Absolutely. This painting's called Nighthawks. 
Um, I don't remember the year. I can look it up, or you can look it up. But um, this was the, the this painter Edward Hopper was one of the great American painters of all time, um, and his paintings were very influential. He studied in France, but his paintings were very influential because he created this aesthetic, this image that everyone used, particularly in Hollywood. He had a huge impact on how movies were made because because his the language of his of his paintings was so universal that people began to use it to decide how to uh, how to I don't know it just, just how to uh, create the lighting uh, for for films for example okay you had a lot of great um, cinematographers who knew a lot about lighting but there was something about this which which expressed the feeling of the time in the 1920s and the 1920s and 1930s during the Great Depression and also something that was distinctly American about it. It's not European. And there's something, those two qualities together were very interesting. Okay, so that's enough about the painting. But I want you to keep this in mind <clears throat> as we read the story because these things are connected. So if you go down to the next page, everything you need to know about Ernest Hemingway is in that link if you want to get some background on the author. But basically, let's read the story. It's not that long. The language he uses is easy. It's not difficult to understand his language. And remember, he won the Nobel Prize. So it doesn't, you know, what you write about has a lot more to do. Well, actually, if you want to win the Nobel Prize, just be American. That's, that's the key. <laughs> but besides that, uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, it's not that he's using difficult language at all. Anyone can understand this language. So I think that's one good thing about it. But we have to decide what the, what, what, uh, what the story means. That's where things get interesting. So, shall we begin? What do you think, Mr. Alberto? Will you take uh, page two? Actually, do all of page two, please. Yeah, maybe. Go for it. Um, yeah, I begin in the in the text. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. the title. Let's do the title too, and then start reading. Yeah, the title is "A Clean, Well Lighted Place" by Ernest Hemingway. Is that clear what that means to everyone? Like well lighted, is that clear? Is the painting well lighted, Alberto? Yes, I think so. Yeah, it just yeah. means that there's a lot of light. Yeah. But it's not like no, light. But in the cafe there is. Yes. It's like really bright. Oh, yes, yes. Before we night. Yeah, even though it's night, yes. Okay, go ahead, Alberto. Yes. It was very late, and everyone had left the cafe except an old man who sat in the shadow the leaves of the tree made against the electric light. The deadline in the daytime, the street was dusty, but at night the dew settled the dust and the old man liked uh, to shed lead because he was deaf. Deaf? Now, deaf. He was right. deaf. Now, at night, it was quiet and he felt the difference. The two waiters inside the cafe knew that the old man was a little drunk and while he was a good client, they knew that if he became too drunk, he would live without pain. So they kept watch on him. Okay, we've actually got a lot of information. Let me just make sure two words are clear. The street was dusty. Dusty. What, what is dusty? Is that clear? No. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, with this uh, dirty, with the dirty. Uh, dust. Yeah, dust. How do you say dust in Spanish? Polvo. Po polvo? Yeah. That means octopus in Portuguese. Polvo. Huh? You know. Octopus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the street was full of octopus. <laughs> okay. And in Portuguese, it's pol. So in Spanish, it's polvo. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay. More complicated. <laughs> in Spanish. Um, 
And the dew settled the dust. Is that clear what that means? No, not for me. Anyone? What is yeah. dew? Just drops of water. Drops of water, right. Espe yeah. when, when does that happen? They fall. Uh, <laughs> what time of day do we expect to find dew? In the morning, first thing in the morning. First yeah. thing in the morning. It's the condensation that you find out there in the fields. And in the winter, it freezes and you get frost. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? I know. So, and uh, Paloma. Um, Sorry. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, can you repeat the Which, meaning of the, the dew settled? The meaning of, of the dew settled. Settled. Carmen, how do you say dew in Spanish? I, I think it's uh, in Spanish it's rocío. Ah, okay. 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 Yes, let me just uh, find it because I'm not sure. Alberto? Yes. Do you agree yes, with yes, that? Yes, 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 it's European. Yeah. Okay, okay. An early fog or something like that. Uh, a fog, okay. Sí, Rocío. <laughs> so it's... Thank it's, you. It's, Thank you, you Carmen. Gracias, de nada. <laughs> <laughs> and so the dew settled the dust. It means that the dust, the dirt, polvo, what, instead, yes. of blo instead of blowing around in the wind, it, it, the, the water uh, stopped it from moving. So instead of being lots of dust in the air, the water pushed all the dust to the ground, basically. So in other words, in other words, because you have this image of electric light. Why electric light? Well, probably this happened a long, long time ago, and electricity was still more or less new. It, not everyone had electricity at the time. So it's important he says electric light. Plus, you can hear the sound of the old light bulbs. You know? <laughs> like the sound of neon lights. You know, it gives a feeling. So it's quiet. The street is dusty, but it's probably morning because there's dew. And how many characters have we encountered? Anario, how many characters have we have we met so far? How many people are there so far? Can you count them for us? So, um, how many people were? In the story so far, how many people? Uh, uh, I see. In the first paragraph, paragraph yeah. as uh, talking uh, about uh, men, uh, old men that as drinking. Right, so there's an old man drinking. Drinking. And, and who else? Uh, the waiter that uh, gave right. the alcohol. Exactly. So, so two right. waiters, one old man. That's three people so yes. far. Three people. Yes. Okay. And and what makes this old man? Why are they watching the old man? Um, let's let's let's. By the way, Danielle, you can participate if you want. You don't have to just listen. Uh, so, what do you think, Path? Why are they watching the old man? What's his problem? What are they worried mm. he's going to do? Just to make sure it's clear to everyone. Oh, we lost Danielle. Uh, the, the old man is... Uh, the man is alone. Yeah, he's the alone. Guy. He's alone, and what might he do? What are they worried about? Did you catch that part? I'll give you a hint. It has to do with money. <laughs> 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 does, does the old man have money? Everyone in class? Does the old man have money? Yes or no? No, I think no. He no, does. Yes, he does. No. Yes. He does have money, but yes. is he going to pay? If he starts to drink, he would leave without uh -huh. paying. <laughs> if he starts to drink, if he starts to yes. drink, he forgets and he doesn't pay. So they're watching him because they're worried, right? Because he's a good oh. customer, but. But we they have to watch him. Okay. Just, but but yeah. uh, he has money, but he d doesn't pay. It. Exactly no? because he forgets. Oh, okay. He forgets. Ah, he because he forgets. Okay. He drinks and he forgets. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. yes. Okay. Now we're going to find out why the man is drinking. Okay. Now we're going to find out a bit about him. So there's a lot of dialogue. So Carmen. 
maybe I can ask you to take the dialogue on page two and all the way up to the description on page three. Okay, I, uh, and I'll put. I'll tell you what, and I'll put. A, I'll put. I'll put a big stop <laughs> there, so you can see where to stop. Okay. Thank you. Okay then. So, where did I start from? Last week he tried to commit suicide. Yeah. Don't okay. read it like that. <laughs> hey? Last week he tried to commit suicide. <laughs> okay. Last week he tried to commit suicide. Come on, One this is a heavy it. story. This is a heavy, depressing story, Carmen. Use your heavy, depressing voice. <laughs> I don't know how to fake it. Uh, okay, I'm just going to do my best. Um, last week, he tried to commit suicide. One way to say it. Why? Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay. Why? Su suicide. Suicide. Yeah, you, a little bit. So, so try it again, but read slow. Uh, okay, then. Last week, he tried to commit suicide. One waiter said. Suicide like that? Suicide. Suicide. With the accent, with the stress on su. Suicide. Suicide. Right. Suicide. Okay. One, wait, one waiter said. Why? He was in despair. What about nothing? How do you know it was nothing? He has plenty of money. Ah, so the guy's rich. We just found out that the guy's rich. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going. They sat together at a table that was, close to, that was close against the wall near the door of the cafe and looked at the terrace. Where terrace, the, at the terrace. Ter, where is the stress on, on the first? Ter terrace, first syllable. Okay, terrace. No, how do you, uh, can you pronounce that again? Terrace. Terrorist. Right. Terrorist. Like uh, terrorist, but a little shorter. Terrorist. Terrorist. Like terrorist. Like <laughs> terrorist. <laughs> at the terrace. Where, oh gosh, that's difficult. And looked at the terrace where the tables were all empty, except where the old man sat in the shadow of the leaves of the tree that moved slightly in the wind. A girl and a soldier went by in the street. The street light shone on the brass number on his collar. Collar? Collar? Col collar. Right. Collar? Ah, ah, like hot. Collar. Collar. Right. Collar. The girl wore no head covering and hurried beside him. Okay, so obviously this is in the past. Because women don't need to wear a head covering these days, and men don't need to wear hats. So, so this is the same time period as the painting that we saw, more maybe even a bit earlier. Okay, a terrace. That is an esplanada. Esplanada. Basically, clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Clear? Not clear? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, everyone. Everyone understands where we are? Yeah? <laughs> if there's questions, just ask. The street light shone on the brass number on his collar. Just to make sure this is clear, uh, Mr. Anario, why, why does he have a brass number on his collar? What does that mean? What, 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 why does he have a number on his collar? What's, his, what's the collar? What part of his clothing is the collar, Anario? Do you know? Mm, the color of the the clothing the clothing. Yeah, what's it? What's the gray. color? Is it gray? No, 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 not no, no. color, not color, color. Ah, uh, color. That's the part of your clothing that's near what part of your body? Do I have a collar? Look at me. Do I have a collar? No, no, my wife. <laughs> Look, 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 look. No, no. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. I have a collar. I have a collar. See it? Yes. So it's a part of your clothing near your neck. Okay. He has... He has... Well, let me put it here. Yes. He, ha he has a brass number on his collar. I have a button. <laughs> but he has a brass number. So I just want to make sure that part's clear. Does anyone know why he has a brass number on his collar? What does the number represent? What do you think? No, I don't know. Anyone? Soldier. 
He's a soldier. Then right. Ah, okay, okay. So it's probably the number of his of his troop. Yeah. Right, ah, his troop okay. number. Okay. <clears throat> Who is lonelier, the soldier or the man uh, drinking in the in the cafe? Who's lonelier? I think the old man, because the soldier was uh, with a girl. Yeah, that's an important detail. The soldier is with a girl, and the old man isn't. Okay, just making sure all of this is clear. Okay, so, uh, what do you think? Uh, hold on a second, I'm going to give you another stopping point down there. And, uh, let's see. Okay, Anario. Why don't yes. you read? You read, and you'll see the next stopping point at the beginning of page four. Okay, so read three, and I'm going to stop you after. Oh, let me move it down a little bit. Hold on a second. Go ahead. You start reading, and you're gonna you'll see the stopping point on page four. Go ahead. Uh, he stayed all night. He said to his college, "I can sleep now." I never get in oh, 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 wait, 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 where are you? Sorry, where are you? Uh, in the page four. No, 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 we, we, we're we not there yet. <laughs> uh, look look on page three where okay. it says start. Start, okay. The Go guard, for it. The, the guard will pick him up, one waiter said. What does it matter if he gets what he's after? He had better get off the street now. The, war, the guard will get him. They went by five minutes ago. The old man sitting in the shadow wrapped on his saucer with his Ra glass. Wrapped on his saucer. Wrap wrapped is, is, no is knock. Okay. Like that. Wrapped on in his saucer with his glass. The younger waiter went over to him. What do you want? The old man looked at him. Another brandy? He said. You'll be drunk, the waiter said. The old man looked at him. The waiter went away. He stayed all night. He said to his college, I need Colleague. Sleep. Colleague. Co he said to his colleague, I need sleep it now. I never get into bed before three o'clock. <laughs> he sold half killed him himself last week. Yeah, that's the waiter. <laughs> what a nice guy, huh? <laughs> that's the waiter talking about the old man. So we know from Carmen that the old man tried to commit suicide. The waiter wants to go home and he says, I'm sleepy. The old man should have killed himself last week. What do you think about the waiter, Anario? Nice guy? Nice waiter, right? Uh, busy waiter. <laughs> What's that? He was busy. <laughs> Too busy. He's not doing anything. He just wants to go home. <laughs> but he wants he wants he wants the guy he wanted the man to kill himself so he doesn't have to be there until <laughs> three in the morning. What a nice waiter. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead, Anario. Keep going. Okay. Uh, uh... We're here. The waiter took? The waiter took the brandy bottle and another saucer from the counter inside the coffee and marched out to the old man's table. He put down the saucer and poured the glass full of brandy. You sold half killed yourself last week. <laughs> so he, he's saying this to the old man now. Okay, yeah. go ahead. He, he said, to the deaf man. The old man motioned with his finger. A little more, he said. The waiter poured on into the glass so the, that the brandy slopped over and ran down the steam into the, into the top saucer of the pile. Thank you, the old man said. The waiter took, took the bottle back inside the coffee. He, said, he sat down at the table with his colleague, colleague again. Okay, good. By the way, the brandy, 
he poured the brandy so it slopped over and ran down the stem. The stem is the part of... I don't have a stem in front of me. Hold on. Maybe I do. There we go. Can you see this? Can you see this? This. Okay, so this is the stem here. Oh, okay. Okay? And it's sitting on a saucer. I don't have a saucer, but, you know, the little plate that uh, that, a, the, that a small cup can sit on. Mm -hmm. Or when you have tea, usually you have a teacup and a saucer, right? So why is there a pile of saucers? Why is there a pile, one stacked on, on top of the other? Remember, this is an old story from, from, you know, 60 years ago, 70 years ago. So just, just to be clear, Hemingway doesn't tell you. He doesn't, he doesn't say a lot of detail. He wants you to figure it out. Carmen, why do you think there's a stack of saucers? What do you think? Want to guess? Well, I think he has, he, ha he has had too many drinks that every time he's got a new saucer and a new, and a new cup. A new, that's why. They are all stacked together. There's a exactly. bite of it because they've been, uh, uh, I don't know, they, st they, they are stacked together because there's been so many. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It shows that he's been drinking. Why are there a stack of pile of stack of uh, saucers? Because in the old days, that's how they figured out how much you drank, right? They don't bother counting. <laughs> they just leave everything on the table and then count it at the end, right? Because we didn't have little handheld devices back then. So they just leave the saucer on the table, bring a new cup or whatever. So it's just a way to, to get the bill to see how much you drank. It's a quick way to do it. Um, okay. So, and slopped over. Does that make sense? <laughs> the brandy slopped over. If, if, if I say, you're sloppy, does that mean you're dressed well or dressed badly? No, sloppy is, is, is someone who's not very... I mean, he makes a funny thing, for instance, the sloppy key that won't just start locking. Is it the same sense? The sloppy what? The sloppy key, for instance, when you try to open the door, you know, and you are not very good at it, and you try sloppy to open key? it. The sloppy key, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Sloppy <laughs> key? I don't know. If okay. you, uh, sloppy is the opposite of neat and orderly. So mm -hmm. if someone, so if someone is sloppy, maybe they're dirty. Maybe the clothes are a mess. You know, like me. Maybe the clothes are a mess. Maybe their hair is a mess. It's the opposite of neat and clean and orderly. So if, it, so if the brandy slopped over, it means the waiter didn't care about pouring the brandy. Just, there you go. Right? Okay, I just found it, Eric. For me, it's clumsy. Like when you try to do something, you're a very clumsy person, and things just right. keep falling, that sort of thing. Yeah, it could be that too. Hmm. To do something in a sloppy way, clumsy. Yeah, it could be clumsy okay. as well. But I'm I'm pointing this out because it says something about the waiter. The waiter says to the old man, "You should have killed yourself last week, right?" Is that? I mean, that's pretty bad. Does the old man understand what he's saying? Kids, what do you think? No. No. Why not? He's dead. He can't hear. <laughs> so the waiter, the waiter is saying something nasty, but the old man can't hear him. So it's not as bad as it sounds because the waiter doesn't know what he's saying. So he just signals, you know, more brandy. But the waiter shows that he's annoyed because he just <laughs> clumsily pours the brandy. So there's a lot going on here that is suggested, right, rather than stated. The author doesn't tell you the waiter is angry. No. He shows it to you by the behavior that you see. I hope everything is clear so far. Hope so. Yes, yes one thing, John. It means that I mean he's just pouring it clumsily. So I mean it's like he uh, it has a spell on the on the saucer. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Basically, he, he spills he, it. He does it on purpose. Yeah, I think he doesn't care. I think he's angry and he wants to show it. He's being okay, okay. he's being passive aggressive or something like that. Okay, I get it now. Mm -hmm. uh, hang on a second. Okay, so let's go on. Uh, we're at 
Daniel, would you, are you able to read, or do you not uh, have the text? No, John, I am in car for work. Uh, I am okay. not able okay. to read. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, so uh, I can't see who's next. Oh, uh, uh, Anario just read. So, uh, Paloma, would you like to read where it says start on page yeah. four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's drunk now, he said. He's drunk every night. What did he want to kill himself for? How should I know? How, how did he do it? He hung himself with a rope. Who cut him down? His knees. Who cut him down? Yes. Cut. Who, who cut him down? His knees. Why did they do it? Fear for his soul. How much money has he got? He's got plenty. He must be 80 years old. Anyway, I should say he was 80. I wish he would go home. I never get to bed before 3 o'clock. What kind of hour is that to go to bed? He stays up because he likes it. He's lonely. I'm not lonely. I have a wife waiting in bed for me. He had a wife once too. A wife, a wife would be no good to him now. You can't tell. He might be better with a wife. His niece looks after him. You said she could him down. I know, I wouldn't want to be that old. An, an old man is a nasty thing. Paloma, an old man is a nasty thing. Do you agree? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, 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 necessarily. No. Not necessarily. Some old men are nasty and some aren't. Right? Yeah. <laughs> There's there's Berlusconi and then there's everyone else. Right? <laughs> yeah. Not not all old men are nasty. Um, uh, cool Paloma, man. <laughs> Paloma, what does it mean that his niece cut him down? Did, did uh, she stick a knife in him? Did she cut him? What does it mean? Because he he tried to to kill himself. But no? with, with what? Using with what? A, with a rope. With a rope, exactly. Yeah, and his knees, uh, niece, could, niece. his knees cut the the rope. His knees cut the rope. She didn't yeah. cut him. She cut the rope. So yeah. cut him down means that she cut the rope because he was hanging from a rope. Yeah. Um. Uh. Okay. Let's see. Let me just see how many pages we have here, because it's the story is fast, but it's a lot of pages. Hold on a second. Five, six, seven. Eight. Well, it's basically three more pages. Okay, so let's. Hopefully, everything is clear. If there's any questions, no, just it's clear. Just, okay, so let's do five. Uh, give me a second here. I'll tell you what. One second here. Okay, let's go down to here. Okay. So, I can't see who's next. Uh, ah, Path. Okay. So, you're going to take all of page five. Okay, Path? Yes. Are you hey, ready? I, okay. Start where it says start. You're going to do all yes. of page five until the middle of page six. But it's just dialogue. It's fast. Not always. This old man is clean. He drinks without spilling. Even now, drunk. Look at him. I don't want to look at him. I wish he would go home. He has no regard for those who must work. One more time the for regard. 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 G -g. Regard. Good for <laughs> regard for those regard for those who must work who must work good good the old man looked from his glass across the square then over at the waiters another brandy he said point to his glass pointing to his glass pointing to his glass 
the waiter who, who was in a hurry came over. Finished, he said, speaking with that omission of syntax. Of syntax. Of syntax. Uh, stupid people employ when talking to drunken people or foreigners. No more tonight. Close now. So this part maybe is a little confusing. The waiter is talking to the old man, and he says, finished. But he says it speaking with the omission of syntax. In other words, omission is when you don't say something. Speaking with that, syntax is the, is the order of words in a sentence, the order of the words. How do we talk to drunk people? How do we talk to foreigners? Estrangeros. How do we talk to foreigners? Do we say, hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. No. How do we talk to foreigners? Lovely. Like Tarzan? Like what? <laughs> like Tarzan? It's... <laughs> like, like, like Tarzan. Oh, okay. got it, got it. Yes. Me, Tarzan. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In Spain, what we say is because, you know, uh, foreign people, they don't know how to conjugate the verbs. So they always talk in infinitive. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and without so, connectors. Without, <laughs> only right. words. <laughs> o only the words that they know. So, yeah. so the waiter is talking to him like that. He doesn't say, you are finished now. He says, finished. No more. <laughs> Closed. Okay just to make it clear what he's doing. The, because he all, remember, the, the, also the guy's deaf, so he has to kind of see the image. He can't hear what's going on. Okay, Paz, keep going. Uh, yes. Another, said the old man. No, finished. The waiter whipped the wiped, eggs. Wiped. Wiped the eggs of the table with a towel and shook his head. Shook his head. What does that mean? Shook his head. Um, shook his head. Does that mean yes or no? No. It means no. He's no. shaking his head. This is shaking his head. This is okay. not shaking your head. This is shaking your head. Clear? Okay. So now when you see shake head, you mean it, you know it means no. Shake hands is this. <laughs> shake head is this. Okay, go ahead. Okay. The old man stood up slowly contained the saucers, took a leather coin, pulled from the, his pocket and paid for the drinks, leaving half a peseta. peseta ah. tip. The waiter watched him go down the street, a very old man walking unsteadily, Good. but with dignity. Good. With dignity. Dignity. Uh, tell me something. When did brandy cost half a peseta? How, how, long, how long ago was that? Just out of curiosity. Half a peseta. How much is a peseta in euros? <laughs> and now is One cent? Less? <laughs> Probably I nothing. think less. All right. Less, less. Less. Oh my god, we're going to run out of time here. Hold on a second. Let me just see how much we have left. But okay. in the in the, in these uh, years, yeah. uh, it is uh, a lot of money, perhaps. At the time, it, it, it was enough to buy a brandy. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, uh, l listen, actually, it wasn't, he's leaving a tip, isn't he? So, you know, in Spain, you don't have to leave a tip, so... He has dignity. You know, the guy was rude to him, but he still gives mm -hmm. him a tip. Okay, it's only a peseta, but still, half a peseta. Listen, what do you want to do? Do you, do you, want, to, uh, do you want to finish the story in another class? Because we're, we're not quite finished. Do you want me to read the rest of the story? Because we can make another class where we finish reading and then talk about it. Or, I don't know, what do you want to do? I could finish the class tomorrow at the same hour if you want. Yes. Uh, for me, I would like to go through it a little bit more. So, so want to do it tomorrow at the same hour? For me, yes. Okay. Is that okay with everyone? Yeah. Okay. 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 
All right, so we'll, we'll finish this class tomorrow and we'll, we'll talk about it. I have some discussion questions for you. I also want to give you one clean reading of the class where I read it so you can hear a native speaker. Why? Because I have a, a tutorial that I'm trying to finish where I show you how to download the class from YouTube and turn it into an MP3. So any class where you where you hear someone reading a text, uh, you, can, you can download the class, mm -hmm. convert it into an MP3, yeah. mm -hmm. cut out that portion of the class using free software. Software is called Audacity. Anyone can use it. It's free. It's a great program. It's a professional program, actually. You can cut out that portion of the class, save it as an MP3, and, um, and then what you do is just go back later and listen and read at the same time. That way you can connect the pronunciation with the text. You can listen and read, and you can even listen, read, and speak if you want to work on your own pronunciation. So it's a good, good, easy way to get the sound in your head and to improve your pronunciation. Plus, you'll remember everything 10 times better if you've heard it several times. So I'm trying to create that tutorial when I have time, but that's why I want to do a, a reading too. So maybe uh, at the end of the next class, I can do that for you. Okay. So I'm going to okay. change. I'm going to change my schedule so that tomorrow at the same hour, um, it'll you'll see this class part two. I don't know what I schedule for tomorrow, but I'll change it. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll okay. be back. I'll be back in about two minutes uh, to do the business class. We're going to start a new unit. I don't know what the unit is. I have to look right now, but I'll be back in two minutes to do that. So stick around if you're interested. Please be interested. <laughs> I'm just going to do it too, this one. <laughs> All right. Thank bye for now, everyone. Bye. Bye, bye. bye, John. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.